Hi and welcome back to Functional Scala. Today we'll discuss about closures. Let's first have a look at closure. Up until now, we have done all the calculations on parameters that we are passing into the functions. But I'm going to declare this function literal bill that accepts only one parameter net bill of type double. The function calculates the final bill by adding service charge to net bill. So uh, if we try to compile this function literal, compiler is going to complain that it does not know anything about service charge. Let us explore this function again. We have one bounded variable and that is net bill. It is bounded to the function call and takes its value from whatever is provided to the function. Whereas service charge is a free variable and function literal does not give it any value. In order to execute our function literal, we need to provide a value to service charge. Let me declare a val service charge and provide it a value of 14. Now let us redefine our bill function again. And we can observe that Scala is quite happy with our declaration now. Let us execute it once to prove that it indeed works and it goes through fine. The function value created at runtime from this function literal is called closure. It is called closure because we capture binding of its free variable by closing the function. In above example, we have captured the value of service charge as 14. A function literal with no free variable such as consider this function literal known bill. The known bill also takes in an input parameter of net bill. But known bill is not a closure in true sense because known bill function does not capture any free variable, but rather it has a constant. Before we proceed any further, I must caution you that we have used val service charge. Instead of val, you can also use var. But using mutable objects in closure is considered bad practice because it can cause the behavior of function to change unpredictably. Now this brings up an interesting question. What would happen if service charge changes after the closure is created? Let us experiment it out. So I'm going to declare a class cafe that has service charge attribute. The class has implementation of our final build closure as well. Now let us open uh, two instances of cafe. One is a city cafe that has service charge of 14% and another one is a beach cafe that has service charge of 20%. So you pay more for services on the beach. Now, if I have a meal in city worth 30 quids, then I'll be paying 34.2 as my final bill. But if I have the same meal on beach, I would have end up shelling down 36 quids as my final bill. Hmm, two more quids. I don't mind. I'll prefer beach any day. So, our closure has returned us a value based on service charge. You can observe how the final output of closure depends on the value of free variable. So that was all about closure. Closures are quite common in functional world and you can find closure in other programming languages as well. I would advise you guys to play around with other data types in closure such as Try to pass in a string or int. I hope you are enjoying functional constructs of Scala. See you guys next time with more of functional Scala. Thanks for watching. Please post your comments and suggestions.